thing we're going to do is clean the arm. She's going to do it herself. You can talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One of the uh, things that as a medical assistant you would learn how to do and be checked off on is a phlebotomy draw where you're going to draw blood for um, patients. So right now she's currently cleaned the site and she's going to assemble all of her supplies. And then as soon as she's done assembling the supplies, she will apply a tourniquet to my arm. And she'll be ready to draw blood once you're all on to that for you. <laughs> so when you apply the tourniquet, you want to make sure that it is nice and tight, but not too tight to cut off circulation. And you also want to make sure that when you're doing this, that this little flap here is sticking up so that you can immediately release the tourniquet. It can only stay on an arm for approximately one minute. Okay, you ready? And as you're putting in the needle, it needs to be bevel up. Feel a stick. And then you always want to keep your eye on that needle at all times so that you're not pulling up or pressing down. You're not pushing forward or pulling back on the needle. You always release the tourniquet prior to taking the tube out. And then you'll remove the tube very gently. And then you don't press down on the gauze until after the needle is done. Hold that for me. Thank you. Always ask your patients to help.